Randall Hughes and I'm a scientist here at the Florida State University Coastal and Marine Lab. And like most residents of the Gulf Coast, um, I've been concerned over the recent oil spill in the Gulf, not only because of the tragedy of uh, the loss of human life, but also because of the potential effects that it'll have on our beaches and other coastal systems. And as a scientist, I'm not only concerned about the effects that the oil may have on the systems that I study, but also my primary interest is in documenting what those effects are. So we really want to understand what the systems are like now so that we can better get a handle on how the oil has affected them. Over the last year, my lab and I have been studying salt marshes, primarily in St. Joe Bay, but also in Appalachie Bay and Alligator Harbor. And what we're interested in is how diversity, whether the number of plant species or the number of genetic individuals of a given plant species, impact the animals that are associated with these marshes. And so right now, with oil potentially coming to impact these systems, we've been going out to take samples on how many plant species are in the marsh, how abundant they are, what's their relative abundance, and then also how abundant are the fiddler crabs and the snails and the insects that um, depend on these plants for habitat. And then we're also going out and collecting samples of the plants that we can take back to the lab and do some analyses on to determine what's the genetic diversity of these areas. How many different genetic individuals do we have? Because other research indicates that diversity may help to lessen the negative effects of disturbances, um, whether it's an oil spill or a more natural disturbance. We don't really know if it will, in fact, um, reduce the impacts of oil, but that's something that we're interested in seeing um, for ourselves. And so we're really busy right now trying to go out and get as much data as we can um, prior to the oil arriving in these sites. Thank you.